After publishing the bestseller Literary Lapses in 1910, Stephen Leacock follows up with a series of smash hits that propel him to international stardom. Leacock wrote in American magazines, British magazines, British newspapers, American newspapers. When his books came out, it was an event. Leacock feels his success is a harbinger of what the entire country can accomplish. Once a passionate empire booster, he begins to champion Canada in its own right. We cannot in Canada continue as we are. In the history of every nation, there is no such thing as standing still. We must realize, and the people of England must realize, the inevitable greatness of Canada. That greatness comes at a terrible cost. Canada loses 65,000 soldiers during the First World War, but it transforms the country. Fighting as equals with other allies, Canada emerges from the colonial shadows with a new sense of national identity. Leacock is the voice of the new Canada. If you say the word Canada anywhere in the English-speaking world, they will respond, Leacock. He is friends with Douglas Fairbanks, Mary Pickford, and Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin wanted Leacock to write a screenplay for him. F. Scott Fitzgerald was a young writer at, at Princeton. He wrote to Stephen Leacock and said how much he admired him. So his early career was very, very successful indeed. But of course, what he would have loved to have had, and I think so would his wife, were, were, were children. And children simply didn't come. Finally, after 15 years, Beatrix becomes pregnant. Leacock wrote what was a charming letter to his mother saying this beautiful baby has been born, it's just perfect, and now, you know, I'm gonna call it Stephen, and you know, he was just ecstatic. And I think they were both very happy. He began to develop a pretty expensive lifestyle for a university professor. He built a lovely house near Aurelia, which is very gracious, but required servants. And then he had to have a car, which in those days was a luxury. And so I think as his income grew, so did his appetite for living in a particular style. <laughs> 